I'm Jim Greer from Angel Computer Systems and today we're going to cover installation of an external video card. Today we're going to use the NVIDIA Quadro K2000. Um, the first thing that you want to consider bef before you're installing any kind of components in your computer is to make sure there is no power getting to it. Uh, make sure the power cord would be unplugged from the back. Uh, maybe press the uh, start button a couple of times to release any residual electricity that's stored. Um, with the card itself, um, slips along the bottom into the PCI Express slot in your, in your uh, case. But in order to expose the connections at the back, we'll have to remove one of the back plates. And it's just held in with one single Phillips head screw, very simple to remove. Just unscrew the screw and remove the back plate. You can set that aside. We'll use that same screw to secure the card properly once it's in place. And this particular card has to kind of fit around some of the cables inside of the case and so forth. Um, we can slip one, one underneath here and a couple in the back. But the PCI Express slot is located up near the processor. It's this slot in particular right here. So this cable will hide underneath this little notch. And let's see here. doesn't require much insertion for us. It, once you get the tabs lined up and so forth, just press gently and firmly down on the whole card and you'll hear it click in place. This particular motherboard has a small retaining clip that will flip up to make sure that it's got the end of the card properly, which it does. And the card itself is installed. There is no external power connection on this particular variation. Occasionally some of them will have connections to uh, to pull some of the motherboard cables out. So we'll go ahead and since the plate is now replaced by the ports on the back of the card, we'll just secure that card with the screw that we took out a moment ago. And that holds the card securely in place for access to the cables and the plugs in the back. Um, at this point, there are no other cables to connect to the card or anything. You can close the case back up and um, we'll install some video drivers and do some configuration aspects. If you'd like to check out more information on that part of the configuration, please check our job uh, or our blog posts on angelcom.com.